Oh, wow. <laughs> Presidential Pestilential. That's a good name, isn't it? And the 300 TV advantage is good. Nurgle are notoriously shit at handling the ball. He does have tentacles, probably. And foul appearance and disturbing presence. So he's got some things, but... Oh, he's got an agility 4 wrestle. And a strength 4. Um, Pestigore. But he's only got two Pestigores. No, three Pestigores. Only two rerolls. And only only two block. He does have a dirty player, though. But he's only got two, he's got a stand firm beast. So the beast will definitely be... Can definitely be a problem. The strength, not so much. One wrestle, two block. Obviously, no sure hands. He's a... Uh, he hasn't got a ball carrier against Wood Elves, which is which is scary times for him. But he could get some damage in. <laughs> yeah, he is Skrill dude, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I <laughs> uh, <laughs> see calcium. I was I was at a thirty degree tilt over new box, yeah. Also I can't have I can't have the uh, the fucking chat open so much, and it's hard. It's much harder keeping everything together on the uh, on the laptop than it is on the PC. You know, with with everything not being able, not being up to scratch, with the equipment not being up to scratch, it is harder to keep keep a handle on everything. So, hello, Calcio. <laughs> I was a, the fucking new box were were like. Horrific. I mean, they should have won. If he'd known, if he'd known what sidestep was and how to stop it, I would have lost, wouldn't I? And also, I had the if the pick if the cat bounce hadn't gone to him and he'd caught it, like that was unbelievable. Anyway, it was a crazy string of events. No wizard is good, but bribe and a chainsaw can be very bad, can't it? He's also a strength four chainsaw that looks like a strength two chainsaw, so that is another that is another advantage Max Bleem Ripper has on a <laughs> No it is Pedro, it does make it harder, honestly. VIP Pedro Jack. It does make it harder. You may not believe it. But it's true. Yeah, that is an advantage because you think, oh, I'll just blitz this goblin shitter. And then you're like, oh, fuck, he's strength four. It's, a, it's not a two dice blitz, it's a two dice against blitz. Gone to the dark side, calcium. By the way, look at this. Look at this team. Sixteen one zero. Crazy, isn't it? He chose to receive, which is what I would have chosen him to do anyway. I guess I keep the shit one turner off the pitch. Even though it's what got me the fucking win last game. Maybe I don't. No, I do. <laughs> I think having this... Because this is a really good one-turner anyway, isn't it? It only needs one push. With sidestep. So, like, this is... It's obviously not a nailed-on one-turner in terms of percentage of scoring, but it's really easy to get him into range. Might be the difference between winning and losing. You never know. He's got no tackle, so... He's going to struggle against the dancers, isn't he? Yeah, <laughs> no, what else, 2018? <laughs> yeah. Actually, playing at the start of the season makes a huge difference, obviously. And being... Being very lucky helps a lot. Getting the fuck, fuck away from the tree. <laughs> yeah. 
Thank you, Kelsey. Yeah, <laughs> that's true, Squirrel Dude. That's true. Yet it's Blood Bowl, and he'll be rolling dice, and he has he has a chainsaw, and a dirty player, and a bribe, and a mighty blow. So <laughs> things can happen, can't they? Things can happen, but yeah, you know, obviously it's an amazing matchup. Should should be should be a win, but as always, anything can happen. Oh god, heat. Heat, for example. He's got two reserves, so heat unlikely to affect him as much as me. Also, he doesn't have any good players. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not complaining about the matchup at all. It does, yeah, Clang is, but the fact that I don't need the. Oh, I do need the push. Shit. I was going to say the fact that I don't need the push makes it. <laughs> <laughs> makes it not so good. But um I do need a push now, don't I? Oh, I don't know, I don't know what's going on. That is a wrestle well, it's more of a sacker, isn't it? He's got He's built him to be a bit of a sacker. Blots. He's, he's probably going to carry with a plus strength and then use the wrestle guy to do stuff. Worst possible weather situation. Absolutely. Oh yeah, he's obviously doing a big farm. Even though he's already stunned. It's fair. They do live in a magical forest, yeah, that's true. I mean, I can... I can put the whole team here now, can't I? And he's, he, this this foul could have lost him the game straight away. Doesn't even care about the ball. He's like, fuck it, mate. <laughs> fuck it. I don't didn't want a foul anyway. <laughs> I could blitz here. And uh, then he could three, four, five, six block him to free up these two. Or they could just try and roll away from tentacles anyway. I guess I don't want my ward answer to die. So I guess doing that is a good idea. put him in the wrong square, didn't I? I can't do it now. Oh, what an idiot. Alright, so we're on random, random dodges away now. Let the dice decide.
definitely get hit there, can't you? That doesn't seem good. No dodge on either of these. I guess I'd rather not have a block guy fucked up. He could be a safety. Yeah, Corn, I mentioned swallowing here, yeah. Not happy about it. <laughs> Jimmy up for everyone else. Uh, an armor nine, one in six. One in six to injure. And then one in six and one in six, so one in twelve, nine, six. But then if you um if you do like the the chance of knocking them down on top of that, but It's also not, it is 1 in 12, 9, 6 for that, but. Oh, well, he rolled a 1 for the pickup. Oh, no, he, he still didn't go for the pickup with the agility 4. He did re roll it this time. Maybe I should have tried to get more stuff over this side, because he, he's got an easy cage, but still. Maybe I could have got further over here. They put both war dancers quite far away. Can uphill block him fine though, can't I? Because it's only a, about 30% fail. Yeah, getting a Kaz, but it was a kill. And then another kill, wasn't it? It's 1 in 12, 9, 6 to, to do that. Oh yeah, gain skills. That's a, that's a good idea, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Right, the saw might be exposed now. Maybe. It's hard without any guard though, isn't it? It is actually hard without guard. Tree could get in, but then still need one dice. Now he gets his foul and he's not even stunned anymore. And if he'd failed the pickle then that would have been glorious. Getting the beast near the ball is a good shout, isn't it? Could leap in for the uphill. But then the it would be near there. I'd be near a soul. Wow, one dice, pal. Get out of town. Could I hit him with my e -ball? Not really. Could hit him.
Audi, Audi. He seems not shit at Blood Bowl, which is instantly making him a formidable opponent. Six, seven, eight, nine. Could put in two guys here. But there, it makes him hard to get on the air. It makes it not that easy for him to get in on the air. Tense. Only one player down. It feels like I've got no men at all. Take root. Fuck off. Worst possible outcome was the take root because I really wanted to be able to follow. Fuck's sake. Now he can get the beast in. Ah, well. Oh, he's got to fight the tree if he does. Yes, exactly, Bramdill, there is the trap, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's 1 in 12, 9, 6. The chain push would not work against take root, no. No. Once once you've take root, you can't, uh, you can't turn off stand firm. He's going to put the dirty player in a cage, for fuck's sake. I hate it when their one block guy rolls both down all the time. <laughs> I guess I wait for the beast to go stupid one turn, and then that's when you go for the uh, the sack, the ball sack. He's probably right to just play for attrition this half and, and try to protect the ball. <laughs> you know, not care so much about scoring. Because if he scores, I could always one turn anyway. Relatively easily. Just waiting for this sort of roll of one, and then, oh, he did. That was good, wasn't it? And that was good. So the saw rolling of one is good. He can't really get power. Could leap in for a 1D. Well, not for a 1D, for an uphill. Could chain him in, him out, but then doesn't do anything.
Maybe just go for the uphill. Chin him out on a pow. And then they could could leap in for an assist. No, because he's there. I really don't want to leap in for a fucking uphill block. Maybe just mighty blow this shithead. Shouldn't have marked him first, should I? Maybe I should have done. Well, I'm un I'm unrooted at least. I won't have to make a dodge for him to blitz. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess I could have done that. No, it was stupid, wasn't it? That was fucking stupid and shit and wrong. But still, always got the chance of the uphill lead. I feel like, why, where are my players? I feel like I just have literally no players. This is so fucked. Got ten. Where is everyone? It doesn't make any sense. He's going to foul even without Dirty Player. Mm. I guess I'll just go for the fucking leap then, eh? It's good that the Beast's away from the action now, anyway. Come on, don't power him. Yeah! <laughs> Slughead. Don't even have to leap in. <laughs> Don't even have to leap in now. That's good, isn't it? <laughs> and he's got mighty blow. Could probably blitz the uh, guy in front to uh, get two dice on the ball here, maybe. Wow. That, that ball down was fucked in. That is amazing. Holy shit. <laughs> He's just fucked himself. This is outstanding. Who would have thought that you, that your tree stunning himself could be good for you? Because I can chain out this guy, can't I? So, if this is a pow, then he can get two dice on him. Indeed, he could he could have just literally just lost here with that play. That play could have lost him, could lose him the game. I've gone from the wrong square. That was where I was meant to blitz from. Fuck. BM. BM dodge and GFI there. <laughs> no, I could have stood that guy up for oh, bollocks.
GF5 to make it two dice. Probably worth it because I really... Uh, no, a two, it's a two plus to get the ball, isn't it? So fuck it, just one dice. Then. One, two, where do I go here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, pass. I guess just jam in here. Unfortunately, Risper, Risper Visper, I am not, I am not an expert on that sort of thing. Oh, I got the pow! How did he do that? That literally never happens. A war dancer pow. Maybe I should have made the GF to make it two dice, because obviously powing the strength four would have been... Desirable, there would only only been one tackle zone then, wouldn't there? Yeah, man. I, I, I didn't want to use a reroll when I was going to pass afterwards, you know, that was a thing. The idea was to run out to here and then pass. And then I thought, I've got two war dancers around the ball. I'll get, you know, I'll get another chance to get it off him. I've only got two rerolls. A lot of jelly deals. Two rerolls for three turns. He's got the saw blitz. And maybe I should have. Maybe I should have done it. Maybe I should have rerolled. But I don't like using a reroll on a four plus, you know. If it had been a three plus pickup, I, I would have rerolled it, I think. Oh wow, look at that. Using his mighty blow and his dirty player just to hit a lineman miles away from the ball. That's why I don't like the beast. <laughs> Ooh, he's good against elves. <laughs> oh, that's a huge, that's a huge blitz, this, if he makes this GFI and chainsaw roll. He did. Lucky fuck. Yeah, maybe if I should re -roll, if I'd re rolled the pickup, maybe I'd have just scored it. And still passed to him there. So that's good. He should have put him straight back, shouldn't he? Hey, good beast. Just get a scatter and see what happens. No, he could block him. And these guys are free to move. And everything's a bit clogged up. What happened there? Nothing came up on the screen. But I heard 4XXX. But nothing's come up on the screen. But I assume it was Goliath Games making a donation. But 
can't see anything. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Throw it over everyone's heads. That doesn't seem too smart, the throw, but I don't mind the pick up and run away part. You could do that to screen afterwards. He can go GFI. For GFI, he can get to here, so maybe just go there. So he can't get tentacles. You can block him at the moment, so I do need another one. Thank you very much, Goliath Games. <laughs> Thank you very much. Would you ever take notes of Steen and Woody Catchers? Yeah, I wouldn't. But yeah, I can see why someone could take it for fun. Oh, and he's got another block. Oh god, I wasn't I wasn't clever, was I? I wasn't clever then. Oh, he's got a Sauradus. Oh, fuck's sake. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, he, did, he stood this guy up. No, he didn't. Oh, God. He did. He stood this guy up, didn't he? No, I just pushed him. Oh, God. Why well, didn't even move the beast near the catcher? I'm trying to put disturbing presence on him. Oh, this is great. Look at this. Four players in the wrong half. And I still feel like I've got no men. I've only lost three. And he's lost one. Just got to hope he rolls a one on the saw. One in a twelve. One in twelve. He's got. He's got to reuse his last reroll on the saw hit, hasn't he? If it's a one, it's not a one. It's a stun. Oh, good. No recovery for him, really. Fucking hell. This sore has been gold, hasn't it? Does have a recovery. Hey. 
Should have done that first, shouldn't I? Right, so he's not in disturbing presence. So, one, two, three, 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 two, but then another three to get it in. So maybe just stand there and get chainsawed. And he goes three, three, two. It's not good though, is it? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, GFI pass. Or three, three, two. Oh, he's fucking four, five, six, seven, GFI, GFI. You can't even get out that way, too slow. Fuck. One, two. Oh god, this is bad. This is bad. I shouldn't. He should have. Uh, he should have gone in here. And uh, I don't know what I can do. It's going to be a pass in disturbing presence, isn't it? If it even works. Use dodge. This is one disturbing presence. One pass. This makes it better because there's no disturbing presence and it's still a long pass. <laughs> it would be, wouldn't it? It fucking would be. Good. Skillful avoiding of the dirty, d disturbing presence there. And two chances for the KOs back. Although, one out of three. Concession. Oh no, bribe. <laughs> Shit. Oh yeah, and also the and also the sore off, isn't it, for the second half? So that's that's good. I don't mind scoring there. Now he's got to try a two turn with Nurgle and one reroll. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So he's a scoring threat quite pretty easily. One, two, three, four, GFI. Hmm. Don't like anything blitz and getting on two then. Got a saw as well, hasn't he? The saw and the tents are both pretty not good. Fuck it, let's just go away and see what happens.
get rolled on. <laughs> Thanks, Rip Cracker. <laughs> Forward elves. <laughs> Click end zone. Oh. Palm tree men get plus four movement if it's still relief. Oh shit, yeah, there's there's the weather as well, isn't there? One lost one and he lost none. Okay. Well, if he hadn't thought of that squirrel doing he's in the chat, he's certainly got that idea now, hasn't he? <laughs> Looking hopefully not, though, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Collusion. He was saying it doesn't matter in the weather, it's just a straight D6. I really thought he was going to concede when I saw the blonde whistle. The thing is, if he scores. No, he doesn't get sent off, does he? No, it doesn't matter. Fuck, I've got to make like two cards. Yeah, if he plays it on defence, I one turn him, or two turn him, and if he doesn't play it on defence, then... Then um, anyone who disagrees with me is an idiot. That was funny, that wasn't it? We can go there, just just in case. <laughs> Is that greedy? Trying, <laughs> trying to go uh, two nil up. Have I gone full in Aryan now? Is that what? Is that what that is? Be on the line. In fact, sidestepping at the sideline is just better, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I don't think he's going to do much on defense because I guess he sits him out on defense as well, doesn't he? And then he puts him on. I don't know. Yeah, I guess he's not going to get too much more value out of him. It's going to be hard for him to get someone in the scoring range this turn, isn't it? And even if he does score, I've got a decent chance to one turn against him. Anyway. That was a good, perfect defence when he's got three players there like that. Tagging might have been good to stop that assist, mightn't it? Oh, he's still alive. He's taking some abuses back door, Billy. <laughs> it's a hard life for a fucking rookie line elf, isn't it? Oh. Not easily. I said relatively easily. I mean, it's not easy. Obviously, no, it's not easy. But you know, movement nine with 
sprint shove with sprint only needs one push and sidestep so it's really easy to get the push like you know i don't even need a push i just need a pow so the push is really easy obviously dice are there to be rolled but only needing one push makes the one turn pretty easily yeah i mean it's obviously not as easy as with a natural but it's somewhat easy, isn't it? So I wouldn't hate it if he scored. Well, I would, I would obviously, because I fucking hate losing. But him scoring wouldn't be the end of the world. <laughs> also, him scoring would be another kickoff roll for a chance to have changing weather. He needs to get someone in scoring range, doesn't he? Otherwise, I can just go ham trying to score myself. And push is no good here. I think this is better, isn't it? I think this is the best square. Hmm, maybe it isn't. Because he can follow, can't he? So that was the wrong square. Should have gone to the sideline. Hmm. No, he could have followed. No, that was the right square. Plus Jaleel, you're assuming um, optimal setup to stop the one turn, which is not necessarily true, is it? <laughs> yeah, that was a good, perfect defense, wasn't it? Holy shit. Yeah, that was the right side step, I'm sure now. Panic pickup. I could actually leap, couldn't I? And hit the ball. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Double GFI. Could serve him. He can hit the ball easily. Don't need to do bullshit with him. Alright then. Oh. <laughs> oh, you fucker! You fucker! Yeah, easily I can hit the ball, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can easily hit the ball there. Yeah. 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 Should have just surfed this fucking pestigore, shouldn't I? <laughs> Yeah, I guess, to be fair, if I just put him in scoring range first, which was my idea, then I would have still had a chance, wouldn't I? True, I said relatively easily, oh my, oh, really, it's all relative, isn't it? I mean, yeah, it's still easy. <laughs> you don't expect to roll one in 36, do you? Even if you've got, I mean, I had to roll, what, four of them to score, which isn't. You know, that's about a 1 in 9 chance to fail in the whole sequence. But it's still, 
It's still relatively easy, isn't it? If only I just put him in his range first. What the fuck have I done here? Two, three, <sighs> two, two, to make this a one dice, to surf them both. Yeah, fuck it, why not? Three back, plus heat rolls, so four back, they didn't have to roll for heat. One still failed, and he failed Nurgle Warrior, that's pretty good. So he's got to put Max on. So depending on where he puts the disturbing presences, Outrageous look, yeah. You just don't know where he's going to put the disturbing presence, do you? So, like, the one turn might be... Might be easy, might not. Yeah, maybe I should have just blitzed him and on two seeing as I didn't have any rerolls. I think if I'd had a reroll the 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 one the one D into a double serve would have been worth. I could always go for a two turn, right? You know, I don't have to go for a one turn, do I? It's three GFIs, which I think is horrible. So I think I'll, I don't even think I'll try the one turn actually. However, if he gives us an easy way to chain and you know catch, catch without disturbing presence, seems like worth doing, doesn't it? So it really just depends what he does. No, um, well, not this game, Carl Ancelotti. Need a push. Then, if I had the natural, I would definitely just go for it. He's got sure feet. I wouldn't even be thinking about it. I would just, I would just go for the one turn. Hundred percent. <laughs> yeah, that's probably what's going to happen, but Master X, yeah.
Yeah, I might remove right might remove the uh Nurgle Warrior. We'll see, it just entirely depends how he sets up, doesn't it? That's it. If he gives us an easy ish one turn. If he doesn't give us an easy itch one turn, then don't. Glorious Oriolensis. I mean, plus got the players now, so don't have to. I was thinking more if those three didn't come back and two more went out of heat, but there's actually a good amount of players here, isn't there? Nine players should be able to score in two turns, even against a Tentacles and a Soul. Opponent's disconnected. Oh, fingers crossed. He might have just given up. I think he's got disconnect. I think he's got connection issues. There was a few times where he was waiting for opponents. So I think he'll be back. Two cards, shall I? But if I go two, no, he ain't gonna fucking draw, is he? So. He's got he's got the fucking chainsaw dude, hasn't he? And the chainsaw has been gone on a rampage. So I, I would quite like the I I'll quite like the idea of getting rid of the saw. Exactly, Jelly Old. Scoring two or three, get the sore out, and then um, get the win. Because Nurgle struggled, don't they? Even with the Agility 4 guy that he's got. He hasn't got sure hands, so. I guess I'd have to get screwed by the Heat twice, which could happen. But the fact he's got a stand firm beast, that, that can cause problems for an, for an elf offence. This part's exciting, isn't it? <laughs> this part of the game. <laughs> Ten minutes for me and Pronant to set up. Yeah, I hate it, yeah. Yeah, it's really, it's really annoying. I hope he just disconnects because, you know, got the apple, but he's still got a dirty player and a saw and a mighty blow. <laughs> Anything can happen, can't it? Especially when you're armor seven.
fingers crossed. Three minutes, please. Please fail. Please fail to connect. Yeah, it is horrible, but must work too. Much action, many wow, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Sickening. Two minutes. Yeah, exactly, by Kate, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, a guaranteed win is good, isn't it? That is literally it. Fifty-five. Ooh! <laughs> come then. It's not my fault. If he comes back right at the end, ooh! Yeah, he did, didn't he? He stole it. He just stole the final. That was that was a thing. I would have liked to have played him in in the UK BBL final. Obviously, I would have liked to have won, but we didn't even get to play a game. I mean, he pitch cleared me. Necro versus Undead and he pitch cleared me. Like that is after and we played about ten games total and he pitch cleared me. That is ridiculous. I don't care what you say, that is fucking ridiculous that he pitch cleared me. So Yeah, it wasn't even a game. If he just beaten me in a game of Blood Bowl, I would have uh I got pitch cleared though. Did you get did you get pitch cleared after ten games, Jellio? I know it was like a year ago, but he pitch cleared me. And 10 game undead versus 10 game necro, and he pitch cleared me. I'll never forget it. Never. <laughs> Plus, I could have just won the UK BBL in one season and just been like, yeah, I'm the best. 100% record. That would have really liked that. After getting fucked by the admins. Oh, this gives us loads of money as well. Roll the six for winnings. I've got 130k after that game. That is brilliant. Immediate impact from Chris or the lineman, <laughs> the MVP. <laughs> One AV break in the whole game. And uh, uh, who cares about the dice rolls? That was brilliant. <laughs> All right, fair enough then, Jellio. <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> All cap. <laughs> you know it's serious when the caps lock comes out. I don't think so, no. That's a, so this could be 1,900 woodies. <laughs> 1,900 woodies, potentially. It could potentially be 1,830. 
He can get a completion now, can't he? Oh, I don't know what I don't know what to do about this now. Could sack a lineman and sack the twenty k and go down at eighteen thirty. But eighteen thirty is is a lot of TV. Zero guard is well. There's one on the tree, but yeah, the lack of guard is a problem. The lack of a strength player is a problem. You know, all strength three and two. It's yeah, it's rough. I could have even thought about wrestle on this guy to try and you know uphill wrestle people. Um, Thirteen would be good for the playoffs if if this was a if this had a better record. Um, because I don't think I can sit on seventeen one zero. Um, but I don't know. Well, don't know. I might have to sack a sub and then uh, and then. And then, you know, try to keep trim the TV because I really, 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 really want a guarder. I can't sack the one turner. He's the best player for the playoffs, really. Um, okay. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.